Kia ora, I'm Aroha Sphinx. I'm here today having a quick chat to you around Lake Wairongmai and the Fano and the restoration project that they've initiated here. Uh, as part of the Manaki Taha Moana process, we contacted the Hapu and uh, they gave us a few kaitaki, so Roli Roli Te and Libby Hukaraya uh, to talk to Tawari Kakik around what restoration projects the Hapu would like in this area. Uh, they put forward Lake Wairomai as a potential project for us to give them support. the lake, stop the cows getting in there, uh, to clean up the water, uh, the stream's got a lot of weed in it, uh, so they'd love the eels and the white meat uh, to be numerous again so that they can keep those here safely and get abundance back and, and get their life in the water again. Um, the people that are involved, as I said, there's initial kaitiaki, uh, then we've also got other people that are very interested such as Caleb Royal, uh, Retetia Royal, um, a number of the Kaumatua, Rupini Waka, uh, Whainali Kakik. Uh, so we, last year in November we got endorsements from the trustees to go ahead and um, start that restoration project this year, so it's 2013 and we've just started putting in the applications for the fencing funding. Um, so we've spoken with the Greater Regional Wellington Council, uh, Kapiti Coast District Council, uh, DOC and Ngā Whenua Rāhui. Uh, had a lot of input from Richard Anderson there from Ngā Whenua Rāhui. Uh, he's uh, had a look at this lake and um, given us restoration ideas before, uh, so he's very keen to see things happen here. Uh, we've reported back to Ngā Hapu o Otaki and um, let them know and they've endorsed it as well. Uh, we've also got Tawananga Oraukua, the Māori University, and their tutors there wanting to help and include the students doing some monitoring out here in the lake with the eels, that's the fish and insects. Um, so, um, included from that is Whakati Puranga Rua Mano, the local high school students and their uh, science teacher, Rauli Uraiti, um, and uh, Harina Uraiti, or Harina Kupa. <laughs> um, and she's the principal there and they've endorsed the high school students coming out and also monitoring here at the lake. Um, so yeah, so we've got the kids, uh, the students, the local whānau. Um, so our next steps will be trying to initially look at fencing the lake off. Um, the kids at, at this high school as well as the um, the university will be starting their own nurseries. Uh, the Fano will hopefully do a nursery on local land here at Retitia's um, um, whare and uh, there's a local papa uh, kainga happening there on the Royal and Kakik land. Uh, so there'll be a little nursery there in the shed as well for the Fano to be growing their own native trees and that planting down here. Uh, but this year the main thing is the lake. Stream, getting the weed out of that stream, unclogging it. Uh, next year will be more on the hydrology and looking at increasing the level of the lake, trying to find out where the water is coming from. Is it popping up underneath? Is it coming up through the drains? Uh, is it just about the stream going out? So look more on the hydrology next year, and then more around the protection of the business in the new year. Um, Bye. 
biodiversity people in KCDC um, DOC and Greater Regional Council. Um, so our key point methodology with the landscape architect students they've been coming out each year and um, putting together potential restoration projects visually for us. Uh, so far we've used it at um, the Otaki Library as well as uh, Ngahaku 